Hello, my friends. Welcome to Ian's Kitchen, my kitchen, where we together are going to do some food magic and some alchemy. Today, I'm going to teach you a little bit of a chef's trick, which I learned from an angry, screaming Italian Michelin star chef. I'll spare you those experiences. I'll teach you how to do it in a better way. How do we finely cut garlic? And when I say finely cut, I mean cut, not chop. He saw me chopping, chopping the garlic as you might do. And he got angry and he told me to do it another way. I'll show you how it is right now. Thing is, you take your garlic, split it in half, and you cut it just like I showed you how to cut an onion. You do your bird beak grip and the same grip as I told you with a smaller knife Angle it slightly out to the outside so you don't go into your fingers with a very, very sharp blade. Angle it slightly to the outside and you cut it into thin, thin slices without poking yourself in the finger like I just did. And without going through the bottom of the garlic. And then you cut it one more time, flat. And then you start by putting down your tip and doing the circular cutting motion. Now. Keep the cuts in between real, real close. And what you'll get is finely cut garlic. Look at that. You couldn't get it finer even if you chopped it. Thing is, chopping garlic actually changes its taste. If it's finely cut, it's aromatic and nice. If you chop it, you're squeezing out the juices and you're changing the taste of the garlic. At least that was his explanation. <coughs> And ever since, I've done it like this. I don't chop the garlic anymore. Now let's take it from the top. Thin slices, all right. Angle slightly out so you don't catch your fingers. Then one way, one flat cut. And then again, you're just slowly cutting away at those strands of garlic that are neatly held together by the root. So you see, you get yourself some beautiful, beautiful chopped garlic. Well, not chopped, cut. <laughs> there you go. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one. Anything's a butt plug, if you're brave enough. Uh?